Welcome back to our girly adventure. So off we sail further down the entrancing Danube, edging our way into Germany. Oh, hi, Harry. Yeah, can I order something? Um, I would like the coco vin with salad. Yeah, that's all. OK, thanks, Harry. Yes, come in. Good evening. How are you? Good, Harry, how are you? Good. Please enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Harry. That was great. I'm starving. Oh, I ordered spring chicken, not mutton. Clearly the only thing Jane doesn't eat are her words. Just so she doesn't bite my head off, instead of dining in, we frocked up and rocked up to sample the fine dining option, Portobello's. Portobello's is an intimate 30-seat Italian restaurant available to all guests. The enchanting views coupled with cuisine as delicious as my present company makes for a very memorable evening. Here's to you, Cathy. Oh, darling, me. darling, Jane. Oh, thank you, sweetie. And, um, yeah, and we don't have to open our purse. That's the best thing. Yeah. It's like being the queen. Yeah. Our next stop is Germany's largest UNESCO World Heritage Site, with a treasure trove of over two and a half thousand historic buildings. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's magic. It is so, so picturesque. I know. Everywhere you look is something beautiful. With its narrow atmospheric alleyways and cosy cobbled corners, Bamberg magically transports you into the picturesque past. So that's the frieze that Johann Anwander oh, painted, yeah. 1755. And he made it all allegorical, you know. It's so, so witty. It's funny, isn't it? The artist left his legacy, literally, on this exquisitely beautiful town hall wall. According to legend, the pompous Bamberg bishop forbade any land to be used for the construction of a town hall in case it threatened his authority. The industrious locals cleverly created this artificial island upon which to build their architectural raspberry at autocracy. Here we are in Cathedral Square, which is a sort of architectural minestrone, because you've got the Romanesque church. Yeah, and it's got the Gothic towers and the Gothic, Gothic sculpture. And then over here is the Renaissance gate. That's where the bishops lived in there. Mm -hmm. And, and the, then, then the Baroque Palace. The incredible Baroque Palace. Yeah. So you can actually have a history lesson in one look, like the world in a twirl. Keep going. <laughs> Suits you, Cathy, because you're dizzy. You're a dizzy redhead. This dainty town is off the quaint ometer, but as well as its charming storybook beauty, Bamberg's other claim to fame is its beer. This Bamberg beer is smoked beer, so it would be good in Australia because we can't smoke now in pubs. That's right. So you get a cigarette and a beer together. It, that's exactly what I'm thinking. So, so. And if you could just gamble, do a bit of two up at the same time. Mm. Oh, it's yummy. This town has got 70,000 people and 11 breweries. And they say in, here in Bamberg that beer comes only second to God and sometimes not even the there. The other way around. Yeah. 